It is difficult to dissociate the question of statehood for Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, or other U.S. territories from the race and ethnicity question, particularly in the aftermath of an anti-racism movement that spread throughout the United States following the murder of George Floyd by police last summer. It is even more difficult to dissociate that question from the very foundation of representative democracy. Republicans, in their majority, oppose the idea of new states on constitutional grounds, but probably more so on partisan ones. The electoral calculus is not to their advantage. And so in short, 2021 could well be a pivotal year when almost 4 million disenfranchised Americans, Washingtonians and Puerto Ricans could see their rights granted as full-fledged Americans. And if this does happen, abolishing second-class citizenship for those millions of Americans could well become President Biden's most important legacy.